Hi everyone, Melissa here from Melissa Collects and today I am back with a new and exciting video. Today I am going to be doing an updated binder tour. So this isn't going to be a full collection tour, it's just going to be a binder tour since my overall collection hasn't changed that much, but photo cards have. So let's get started. First, as always, I'm going to start with Dreamcatcher. So my biggest change for my Dreamcatcher collection is that it's now in this mini binder that is two inches thick. Um, because I feel like as lots of people know I was not super happy with how my collection had turned out it was a little bit too big it still is so I'm still looking to downsize um, so currently this is what it's in but I'm hoping to get it down sooner this is only album cards so can open it up here and I did the same thing that I did with my four minute binder so if you're interested in seeing how I did my mini binder I'll link it up in the top but here is the flip through so Starting off with some miscellaneous cards and going into Escape the Era, which I am getting fairly close at completing, which makes me very excited. There's not too many <laughs> blank <splot> splots, <laughs> spots. And then we have Alone in the City. And then The End of Nightmare. All these sets are complete now which is very exciting. As always, I apologize if there's clanging in the background. And then we have Rated Dream, which is my favorite era. And it's also complete, which makes me very happy. As it is my favorite. <laughs> And then we have Dystopia Tria Language. Which is one of my first completed eras. I think the suit set is probably my favorite one. And then these Xi'an cards are like unmatched. They are so good. <laughs> And then for Dystopia Lose Myself, I do have all the cards complete, but the only ones I'm debating on, I'm still not entirely sure, but they're only in this binder, is my um, Dystopia Lose Myself pre-order benefits. So we have the K-Town and the My Music Taste. And I'm not sure about the rest of them, so I didn't do pages for them, just so I wasn't wasting pages, but I'm still working on that. If you want to see the complete collection, I do have the video for the complete Dystopia Leaves Myself collection, as well as my most previous um, flip through has them in it. And then for Dystopia Road to Utopia, I have started selling this, and all I'm planning on keeping are the With Drama Pre-Order Benefit cards. And then we get into summer holidays. So I have the Cape Town for you. I'm still looking for Handongs. And then we have the Make Star pre-order benefits, which are super pretty and holographic. The Suo with the crown, love it. And then we have the album cards, which I'm pretty close to completing as well. Not sure if I'm going to keep them all. I'm still debating, but I joined a lot of goes for that era. So I have a lot of cards for the regular sets. <laughs> Only missing a couple. I love this set a lot and I love putting like Handong and Yuhyun side by side because it's like crazy how similar they look in those photos and then love love the selfie card and then we get into the limited cards which is not not a lot of progress is done I'll admit I'm feeling very burnt out from Dreamcatcher and haven't had the desire I guess to hunt for the limited cards too much I have a few on the way but not making very fast progress because I have been debating on what I feel like keeping for my collection, but regardless, <laughs> that is my current mini binder for the album cards. And next I will show my um, non-album card mini binder for Dreamcatcher. So next I haven't made the cover for it. My two inch binder doesn't have a cover spot, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I also haven't made the cover for this one either, but this is my non-album stuff so for right now I just have their lenticular from the Halloween concert merch there and then we have the yes 24 cards to start it off and then their photo book project from my music taste the two sets I feel like these cards I likely won't part with because these ones I feel like have more sentimental value to me than some of the album card sets do um, 
So I feel like that's where I'm struggling with. I know I'm talking about downsizing a lot. It's because it's been something that's really on my mind lately, but these cards are so much more precious to me. So I don't think I would be getting rid of them currently. <laughs> And then we'll be getting into more concert cards, which is always so fun. And they're two day, I almost said they're three day concert because there's three sets, but it was a two day concert, which is very fun at the beginning of 2020. Then we have the Mysterious Mansion. There's a big gap here between when <laughs> I got more um, non-album stuff because I did put them in kind of like chronological order for when they were released. Love these sets a lot. They look so pretty. And then Neogen, the full OT7 set, love this. And then their Halloween concert photo cards, which are very fun. And I like how the Polaroid ones look like Polaroids, but fit as um, photo cards, because the ones from Mysterious Mansion don't, and I don't yet know how to store them. So they're actually not in this video because they're not in a binder. <laughs> I don't know how to store those. But here are the um, non-album Dreamcatcher. So that's kind of it sort of for Dreamcatcher. I have more of my miscellaneous big binder, but I'm going to stick with mini binders and girl groups and move on to four minute. So next is my four minute collection binder. I love this binder so much. It was my first mini binder I made and I think it is just super pretty. So here we just have some stickers I got as like freebies from a Bai or Makari Japan order. So they're fun, just kind of from various eras. And then we have Act 7 photo cards, which is almost complete. I almost have their Korean cards completed. I'm just missing Hannah's and it proves to be very difficult to find. I hope I can find hers soon because then all the Korean cards will be done. And then we go to Crazy. And then we have their Seasons Greetings postcards, which are so gorgeous. Like, I love this photo shoot they did. Oh my gosh. And then the stickers from it. And that was some kind of ticket that came with one of their albums. And then we get into their photo sets. So these are the four minute and the two Yoon photo sets I have. And those are just the envelopes they came in. And then it starts with four, with four minute in their volume up. I loved these outfits so much. They were so cool. And then we got the two Yoon one right after. One of my absolute favorite photos. I love this one so much. This one too is very cute, but flower sets, like, come on, <laughs> never misses. And then we get into actual photo cards. So the first set here is their um, volume up album cards, and then it gets into two Yoon. So that's kind of it here is the divider for, that's all their Korean stuff. And then after this is their Japanese cards. So we have their first release, which was music. And then I, My, Me, Mine, which is actually complete. Very exciting. So we got I, My, Me, Mine, and then it goes into first, which I think I'm only missing Hannah's cards. So hard to find, I hope I can find them. And we get into Y. This is where it starts getting very uh, barren, like wasteland. <laughs> the beginning is very full, which makes me very happy. And then we get into um, Heart to Heart. I only have Sohyun's cards and the two group cards. And then we have Ready Go, and I just have Gaiyuns. But yeah, so that's my four minute binder. I love how everything fits in this one mini binder. This one really makes me happy, other than I'm missing a lot of cards <laughs> from their Japanese eras, but that is A-OK. -okay. So next, I'm done with my girl groups. So I'm gonna move on to um, only one of, sticking with my mini binders. So next we have my only one of, so this one is mostly photo cards. I know it says photo cards and postcards. I made this before I split them into two binders, but I'm not going to reprint it. Um, anyways, that's my cover. I love the way it looks. So cute. And then we get into their album photo cards, starting with Dot Point Jump, which I don't have a ton of their cards yet, but hoping to get more to complete this OT7 set. And then we have Lion Sun Goodness, which I am getting closer on. And then their black and white set, which is actually done, and I love it so much. <laughs> and then we have this set, which is produced by um, part one. And then they had group and unit cards for that era, and then produced by part two. So I did the ice set first, and then the fire set, because it was a song of ice and fire. And then we have instinct part one, 
So this is the set where they're kind of looking away or not looking, I guess, directly into the camera. That's kind of how I split them out because there's not really a distinguisher between the sets. So I have that. And then the other set is where they're looking directly at the camera. And then we get into the non-album cards, although right here I'm excited we're going to be adding two more pages for Instinct Part 2 because that was recently announced and is going to be released in the new year. Makes me very excited. So then we go into this, which is the um, Unknown Art Picks 0.1 and then 0. No, sorry, 1.0 and then 2.0. And then after that, we kind of get into my pre-order benefit cards and just, I guess, non-album cards. That one's uh, Rie's fan sign, or not fan sign, uh, fan club, Japanese fan club one. And then more pre-order benefit cards. This one page is just Rie and Junji. <laughs> and then one more Rie at the back. So I wasn't going to share um, my more special Rie cards that are in the little yellow binder just because that's the same as my last video. So if you're interested in that. I will link that above. So that's it for this one. And then next we have, I don't have a cover. I will have to, that's like my new year's resolution. I'm gonna have to have a cover for all my binders. But we have my, um, I guess like miscellaneous items. So stuff that isn't photo cards <laughs> for only one of. Um, so I have like a lot of the stuff that I get like um, freebies and a lot of people will give me Rie which makes me very happy so I put some stickers here I have this photo group photo that I just kind of put there um, so yeah I just kind of decorated the top a little bit and then we get into the Song of Ice and Fire photo sorry postcard set which I did in age order And then these are just some fan-made <laughs> photos that I got. I keep like almost all the freebies I get for only one of. I don't know why. Um, I just feel like they fit in this binder really well. <laughs> so you'll notice that there's a lot of like random Rie pictures and stickers and stuff like that. So these are the films for Dot Point Jump, which I'm getting pretty close, I think, to completing. And then it moves into the Line Sun Goodness films, also pretty sparse but we're making some progress <laughs> and I think it looks like they got out of order but that's okay I'll fix the order later I just have like some spare pages in here <laughs> for when I complete them and then it goes into the um, photo set from produced by part one so this is just some miscellaneous photos you can purchase and it gets into unit shots and group shots. And then at the very back here, I have the produced by part two. Um, they were called mini photo cards, but they're actually bigger <laughs> than regular photo cards. So they're in this miscellaneous binder, but they're very cute. And that's everything for only one of. And my last mini binder just has just all my miscellaneous K-pop cards. <laughs> so first we have my Rolling Quartz collection. So I have the band set and then it goes right into like the concept cards. And then I have Monsta X um, from their first English album. I believe this is a twice period of benefit card, but Dahyun's my bias and she's super cute. So I kept that card. I got this card of Dosi from Purple Kiss. And then my friend had given me these fan-made Dreamcatcher cards. And then on the back here were my two pulls from Monsta X's latest um, English album. So we got Juhyun and a group card. So yeah, these are just kind of spontaneous cards. This is where I'm going to keep pretty much anything that's not like Dreamcatcher, only one of, or four minute. It's just going to go in this binder. And I think it'll fit nicely because I'm just going to kind of do it in a very continuous fashion. So it's not going to have much of like a rhyme or reason, but I think it'll look cute in the end. So next I'm going to go on to my big um, like regular size binder, miscellaneous binder that has like Legend of Zelda and I kind of forget what else is in there. Some miscellaneous Dreamcatcher and that kind of thing. So here is the only regular size binder I have left in my collection because I have been moving to the smaller ones. But mostly the stuff in here is stuff that either I want in nine pocket sleeves and I don't want to cut to fit a small binder or stuff that just simply will not fit. <laughs> So we start with Dreamcatchers um, from their first merch bundle, the signed page. And then here we just have some Dreamcatcher miscellaneous cards. I haven't quite figured out where to put them yet or how to store them. So that's why they're still in here. Just kind of waiting for a forever home. <laughs> so they're in there. 
And then here I have Handong's um, Youth With You set. So I just like the way that this is laid out. So I'm not gonna move this to my mini binder because I like this full page too much. <laughs> and then here, this is gonna make no sense, but um, if you know that I like Full Metal Alchemist, my favorite characters are Roy and Riza from the anime Full Metal Alchemist. So um, Courtney found these cards that are super cool and they're like holographic and stuff like that. Um, so they're bigger than photo cards and I just don't have um, the right setup for them yet. So I just kind of put them in this page and then a Dreamcatcher pre-order benefit. And then we have Handong Youth With You again. And then another pre-order benefit. And then my dad had brought these back from me when he went to Newfoundland and I just didn't know how to store them. So <laughs> they're in here too. This binder is truly a... Um, miscellaneous binder there's a ton of stuff in here and then we have the postcards from the first um no sorry the second photo book project that my music taste had done um some miscellaneous kcon the um summer holiday i forget what these were called banner or whatever the garland i think garland photos some stickers and we get into the concept zone I definitely have to kind of clean up this binder because it is a bit of a mess, but that's okay. And then we get into the, my favorite things they've done, the tickets for the online concerts, which I think I laid out very nicely here. And then I'm not sure where the, actually I do know where the other ones are. They're in my binder of stuff I think I'm gonna sell. These might end up in that as well, but the standees from Tree of Language, just cause I'm not, I don't know. I don't really vibe with the standees too much. And then we get into the Legend of Zelda collection. So these are just some artworks I had gotten when I went to, there's a thing called Fan Expo and had gone to that and got those. And then I got this for my birth, no, for Christmas from Courtney, this one. And then this was also from Fan Expo. And then these were like pre-order benefits <laughs> when Skyward Sword HD was released. So that's there. And then we get into the cards for Legend of Zelda. So I'll just kind of flip through this. I have a pretty close to complete collection. I'm just missing um, the like really hard to get and expensive like gold foiled cards. But these ones were really easy and fun to collect. So if you're ever looking for that and you like Legend of Zelda, highly recommend. <laughs> so there's Skyward Sword. There's two pages per game that they did. And then each one, there's like a foil card for each game. And then this is the first foil set. This one is easier to collect because <laughs> so, I think this is a silver foil. And then they have this one here, which does a photo on one side. And on the back, it has like locations. I believe that's another silver foil. And then you get the gold foils, which are hard to find. And I only have two so far. We have Minna and Zelda. And then these are like some of the miscellaneous stuff you can get. Oh, this is like a duplicate page. And then here, I think they're like tattoos and you can get stickers and that kind of thing. They're going back here. And that is everything for my binder flip through. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry I talk so much about downsizing, especially my dream catcher section. I think it's just because it's something that is top of mind right now. And currently my dream catcher collection, I think for a while now, hasn't been bringing me as much happiness because it's just gotten to be too big. So I've been trying to look at ways I can downsize and make this a happy space for me but I apologize that I brought it up so much if you are ever interested in seeing the stuff I'm selling I do have a trade sell Instagram account which is linked in the bottom in the description of my videos so if you ever want to see if I'm selling anything or keep up to date with that that is there um, but yeah I just like to do this as well so that I can always come back and look through the collection and see kind of what I had and the different cards and stuff like that. So I hope you found this enjoyable. <laughs> and if you did, please subscribe to my channel for more collecting K-pop content. If you like collecting Dreamcatcher, only one of for a minute, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I make new videos every Saturday. Thank you everyone. Bye. Stay safe.